Hello and welcome to Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. This is Five First Impressions, a series where I take a look at five games that I played for the first time and give you my thoughts in less than five minutes. So, here we go. Number one, Tokaido. Uh, Tokaido is a pleasant little game where you're climbing up a mountain, uh, kind of like Pagoda Peak in Mario Party, but also not like that at all. Uh, and you're collecting sets of cards along the way, and they score in different ways, kind of like Sushi Go. Um, and the main point of, of this game is that you cannot go backwards. Once you have advanced across the path, you can't retrace your steps. So you're always moving forward, and in that sense, there's kind of time opportunities to block your opponent from taking certain spots because two people can't share the same spot in a two-player game. Um, and so you're collecting cards and things like that. I enjoyed it well enough. It's a 7 out of 10 from me. Uh, but to be fair, I did only play my games with two players. Uh, I think there might be some more fun interactions to be had with more than that. Uh, so 7 out of 10 for Tokaido. Next up, we have Skull. Skull is a bluffing game. And it's a pure and simple bluffing game. Uh, that's pretty much it. You're basically putting flowers or... Uh, skulls down, and depending on who calls it, uh, similar to Liar's Dice, uh, you will then flip them over and basically go around and reveal cards until either the number that was called is shown or until a skull is revealed and then that person loses. Uh, so there's definitely a bit of bluffing. Um, I think it's about uh, on par with Liar's Dice for me, but it is definitely a lot simpler and streamlined. 7 out of 10 for Skull. Uh, next up here we have So Clover. So Clover is a party game where you're trying to make connections um, between words on this little Clover plastic pad thing. Uh, and it's amusing, um, but for me I think it overstays its welcome just a little bit at higher player counts because you have to go through each card individually, um, and each player kind of, it takes time to go through all of that. Um, so that's kind of my main drawback for this. I like party games that uh, have slightly quicker turns between them, uh, like code names, things like that. Uh, again, not terrible, but it's just, it, the pacing's a bit slow. Uh, not as slow as Decrypto, which was just a slog uh, for me, uh, but So Clover is a 6 out of 10 for me. Uh, I still enjoy it, though. Uh, next up, we have Okaya. Uh, I think it's also known as Nia. My copy is, is, has a different name. I'm not sure why that changed. Uh, but this is a small two-player abstract game uh, where you're essentially trying to get uh, tic-tac-toe-ish, but it's four in a row. Um, and the token you take determines what token the other person can take and so on. It's probably mathematically solved if you wanted to try hard enough, but for the casual player, it's fun and enjoyable. Uh, I give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, and last, but certainly not least, we have Wingspan. Uh, so Wingspan is one that I've been putting off playing uh, for a number of reasons. One, because if you play with four or more players, your playtime is going to be over two hours, and that's just way too long, uh, especially for this type of game. And two, because there was way too much hype about it, and I'm admittedly a bit of a contrarian by nature, and so when something gets a bunch of hype, I tend to avoid it because I worry that I won't think it's the most amazing thing ever. Uh, and with Wingspan, I will give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I didn't think it was the most amazing thing ever, but it is a good game. Um, it's a tableau builder, you're putting out birds, collecting eggs, and basically trying to manipulate your resources to build an engine over time uh, with the cards that you've been given. And I enjoyed it. It's very pretty. I think that's probably one of the reasons why people rate this so highly is just because it does look gorgeous. Uh, but the game itself is 8 out of 10, which again is still a very high rating. Uh, I just don't think it's spectacular by any means. I don't own it myself, uh, but it is an enjoyable game. So that is five first impressions in five minutes. See you next time on Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. Take care.